Hey YouTube, how's it going? Here I bring a 2015 Nissan Sentra SV. This is going to be a quick tour, so let's take a look at it, shall we? It's got the Nissan Intelligent key. Just unlock it. This is a rental. I've been driving this for about a week, and so far it drives pretty nice. And for an $18,000 car, you get a lot for your money. This is the SV trim, so this is like the mid-range model. See, like for instance, uh, even from the outside, you can tell you get a little more than the base. Like you got satellite radios, you can tell from the antenna up there. And if you look down there, it's got a backup camera as well. I know there's another center out there, but that one's the base S model, which you don't get any of that. Even though you do get the same hubcaps. You got chrome door handles, that's always a nice touch. Chrome trim everywhere. And then of course there's also the SR and the SL trim. If you get the SR, you'll get like these uh, sporty alloy wheels. Probably get like a sunroof, out spoiler, fog lamps. And I think with the SL you get like a different kind of a uh, alloy wheels. Not, not as sporty as the SR version. But you also get the fog lamps as well. Okay, just so you know, to lock it, just push the button to unlock it, or to unlock both doors. Okay, just do it real quick, and the doors will open. So, uh, you got your, this has black cloth interior, power everything. You got your height adjustment. Okay, so to start it up, like most cars nowadays, just push on the brake, hit this button right there, it'll start. All right, let's see, so it also has your uh, trip meter, um, so you got your distance to empty right here, tr uh, trip, trip distance meter. You got your MPG, that green bar, it tells you like, uh, if you're driving and then it hits that green bar, it tells you how efficient you've been driving. Obviously, if you're going to slam on the brake, slam on the gas, it's, it's not going to take you there, as it, that's not really efficient. Just if you're like, gently like tapping the pedal or something like that. Of course, instant MPG, that's pretty much it. Well, average miles per hour. And also... You also have your eco mode and your sport mode right here. I have a driving with sport mode. It's not as sporty as I thought it was, but it still drives nice though. Of course, like all Nissans, you have your CVT transmission right here. You put it on reverse, like I told you, this has a backup camera. So if you're going to get a center, I recommend at least the SV, as this will come standard with the backup camera, whereas you get the S, it won't. You just get like a cheaper head unit without any, without like a color screen. So like a black and white display. You got your air conditioning right here. Let's make it cool. It's hot. Different zones. Max C. That's, that's nice. And also, you got your radio display right here. It's a color screen too. So you got Bluetooth audio, you got your aux, your CD, USB, XSF satellite radio. You got your regular FM radio as well. But everything ran here, right? And of course you got your Nissan app right here, connect to like Pandora and so forth. I don't have it connected though. For some reason I try for some reason I tried connecting it connecting it, but then I downloaded the app from or from my phone. It said, oh you had to be like the owner of the car. This is a rental, I don't own the car. So oh well, it, I really don't care about it. Me personally I don't care about it. I mean as long as they got the XM and the audio, I'm fine. So of course you got your LED 
um, reading lamps right there, sunglass compartment, and of course you got storage right here. And this is where you connect the aux and the USB. And also you got another uh, power socket right there. Cup holders, e-brake. Well, that's all I showed you on the dash. Let's take out. Let's look at the, the rest of the car, shall we? This is gonna be my first time sitting in the back seat, so I can't tell you how it is right now. So, for a compact, it's got really good uh, room in the back. I'm 6'2", however, the it is hitting my head is hitting hitting the ceiling a little bit, but it's not that bad. I rented a Ford Focus one time, and the back seat was just horrible. You also have rear seat pockets, chrome door handles. And of course, you got your trunk. Just hold. So, for a compact, it's pretty decent. Decent trunk space. You got your spare right there. I'm surprised that I've seen a lot of car makers that are that are going cheap and they're not including the spare. That means if you get a flat tire, you're pretty much screwed. Nice thunk right there. Okay. Pretty. And also you got your extension right here. Although I wouldn't block the rear view though. That would be dangerous for the driver. Glove compartment. You got your hubcaps right there. And let's check out the engine. That's if I could find the latch. All right. So you got a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine. It's pretty decent for its class. So it's not a sports car by any means, but it'll get it, it'll get you. A, from point A to B. Alright, thank you very much for checking out this 2015 Nissan Sentra. Have a good one.